OK, what doesn't Lee like about television? <laughs> Top Gear. Let's put this to bed straight away. I'm speaking on behalf of everyone in the world when I say cars are boring. Mm. Full stop. <laughs> They're not interesting. And even the producers, I think, off the show know that that's true because the, what they talk about is never the reality of cars, our, our world of cars. It's that fake reality of things like, today we're going to talk about off-road vehicles. Mm. Am I the only person in the world that's never driven off a road? I have. I've gone off, but in a normal car. Yeah. Not even... <laughs> I see those women, those yeah. women, and I'm I just I'm not talking swirl. about your heavy drinking days, really. I'm talking about... <laughs> Yeah, this, it, it's the language. The language it doesn't it have anything to do with my experience of driving, you know. You know, you'll hear them say things like, you know, if I talked about the new suspension on the Audi 6149, you'd say, but what about the torque? Yeah. I don't know, I wouldn't. A leak. I'd, say, say. I'd say, where's the cup holder? Because that's the <laughs> only thing. <laughs> if it's on the right, if it's on the right, good design. If it's on the left, it's a bad design, so I'm right-handed. That's it. Anything else? <laughs> I know nothing about cars at all. I drive a, a, a grey one. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never seen Top Gear, cos I have no interest in cars. Obviously, mm. I haven't watched it. Um, and so I watched a few episodes. I've got to say, I really liked it. Mm. <laughs> I did. It reminded me of... I played cricket once with Geoffrey Archer, and he was a really nice bloke. I was gutted. <laughs> <laughs> what do you drive, then? Well, as it happens, I drive a 1966 Triumph TR4A IRS, but that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> the point is... <laughs> but it's not the point, is it, because... Oh, you know, <laughs> that's not true, is it? No, it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd like to point out, because it's... I know nothing about cars, but it's an old 1960s classic car, and I love the look of it. It's a beautiful... I can, I can definitely oh, appreciate... Oh, God, it's going on now. I can yeah. appreciate the beauty of a car without wanting to see a programme about it. Here's the thing. This is a picture of Jeremy Clarkson in a small car. Now, <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? I won't have a word said against this man. Once I had him on a talk show, and my husband said, whatever you do, don't ask him for a free car, before he actually hit the leather. <laughs> I said, Jeremy, can you fix me up with a free car? Anyway, he did about 10 years ago, and I've still been using his name. He got you a free car? He got me a deal. I can't say with who. No. But I, so I have to say, Jaguar, as much as I can. <laughs> But would you love it more if you did more classics? Yeah, I would, because classics look nice. All modern cars look roughly the same, don't they? Roughly. Oh, I no, think, yes. not a Jaguar. No, they... <laughs> <laughs> not a Jaguar. <laughs> if you're going to promote them, at least learn to say it properly. How am I saying Jaguar? Jaguar, three syllables oh, over here. Yeah. You yeah. Say you're saying you're... Jaguar. OK. I don't have time to say that, OK? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is starting to look like a really bad episode of Top Gear. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if, if he gave her the glasses with that T-shirt, it'd be a really bad episode of Where's Wally? 